back to my channel and if you are new, welcome! My name is Meg and today I'm going to show you how to get a 90s grunge smoky eye. grunge is probably my favorite thing ever. I am just absolutely obsessed with the music, the attitude, the clothes, the makeup, like the hair, all of it. I absolutely love it. And for a 90s bar crawl, what better way to go than grunge? So today I'm going to pull that together for you. This is super simple. And yes, this is a makeup tutorial on YouTube that is not a cut crease. I literally used three different colors on my eye. That was it. And in case you're wondering, yes, my eyebrows are two different colors. I'm doing a beauty battle between Anastasia Brow Wiz and Urban Decay's Brow Blade. So if you'd like to see that video, it will be linked up above. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe if you are not yet already so you don't miss out on my future beauty content. Be sure to hit the notification bell if you'd like to be notified right when my videos are out. Come hang out in the comments for Power Hour. First hour the video is live. I will be down in the comments hanging out with you guys. And if you'd like to see how I got this beautiful 90s grunge, let's go ahead and get into it. To start off, I just have my face down. So I just cut my brows with some concealer. And I also use a Morphe primer. Today, I think I'm mostly going to be using the KKW Mario palette because I really like this cool tone brown in here. And I may also dip into some transition shades from the Frankation palette by Dose of Colors. But the main star of the show is going to be this nude stick in the shade Twilight. I am obsessed with these. I think that they're just so easy to use and if you just want a quick makeup look, of course you can use a lighter one and just kind of smudge it on your eyes and go. So I'm just, oh wow, how did that happen? Okay, so that one was jumping out a little bit. I'm just going to swatch these really fast for you. So up top I'm going to have the shade Burnish, which was recommended by Sam, so I had to buy it. And I wanted something that was a little smokier, a little taupier, so I went and picked up Twilight. So this is Burnish, this is Twilight. I love Cool Tone, so it is perfect match for me. I'm just going to start by picking up a Morphe M433, and I'm going to be taking a little bit of this color Basic and Necessary. So just two kind of like the cooler tone transition shades and I'm just going to lay this down. I'm not going to really wing this out or anything. I'm just going to keep it pretty much in a circular shape. So right here with this lighter color, I'm kind of just mapping out how far up I want the smokiness to go. I personally like to start by packing the color into place and then lightly blending the edges. And I'm just following the natural shape of my eye. You can probably just leave it at that if you don't want to go any darker, but you know, I don't know when to stop. So now I'm going in with the Morphe M506. This is a little bit smaller of a brush so when I'm working with darker colors. I really like to use this brush. So now I'm going to dip into that darker taupier shade from the Mario palette. And with a very, very light hand, hardly any pressure, I'm going to start to slowly work this color and I'm going to hug it as close as I can to my crease. The darker the shadow, the less product you want to use and you definitely want to build it up. So picking up just a little bit of product, tapping off the excess is going to help you immensely with these looks. So I like to keep it pretty narrow here and then once I get up to the crease, I will bring it up and buff it out just a little bit more just to have that super rounded effect to the eye. And then again, taper it off in the inner corner. want to go back with that original brush with no new product and blend everything out. Okay. 
Once you're satisfied with that, it is time for the start of the show. I'm just going to put this directly on my eyelid. I also like to make sure I get it close to my lash line. And you don't need to be precise because we're going to blend this out so you can just kind of like smudge it on however, wherever. And I'm basically bringing this up into my crease. These do set down, so I definitely recommend working one eye at a time. And I am picking up my Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. This is a perfect kind of brush for this because it has those synthetic fibers, so it's going to be really great at moving cream product around. And even just the shape of this brush is just amazing for this product. So I am just going through and just kind of haphazardly blending the edges of this into the crease, like so. And then if you wanted to darken things up, now is the time to do so. Now that we have that cream laid down, you can kind of see the vibe of how things are going. So I'm just going back in with that same shadow just to go around the edges and deepen my crease up a little bit more. If you wanted the base to be darker too, you could easily just put a darker base underneath this for an even darker, grungier effect. And I am liking how this is looking. Now that I have foundation and concealer on, I'm going to add a little bit of contour and bronzer because even though, you know, back in the 90s, face makeup wasn't necessarily a huge thing, but it's something that I cannot live without. So I'm just taking this Sculpt Shade by Tarte, and I'm just going to lightly do a contour. I like patting it in to kind of avoid the streakiness if you were to just go back and forth. And then for a light nose contour, I'm taking the Luxie 207. <laughs> and I'm getting most of the product off, and I'm just lightly again going to pat it because I don't want to have like a super defined like streak down my nose. My skin can also be really finicky with powder products when my skin's dry, so I really have to use a light hand with this. And then if any of your foundation starts to pick up, I just pounce it a few times with my beauty sponge. For bronzer, I'm using my Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. This is in the shade Light. And again, I want to keep this pretty light-handed because I feel like if anything, people were just really wearing blush. And of course, it would not be 90s fashion if you weren't wearing like a muted pink, especially for grunge. I feel like that was in. So that's just naturally my aesthetic. It just kind of blends in really nicely with the bronzer and contour and just adds a really nice definition. And of course, I know highlight for sure was not a thing in the 90s, but I am modernizing it. I have to. I cannot just leave my face completely matte. So this is Becca Moonstone. This gives like more of a natural glow within highlight. If you're someone that likes to keep it a little more natural, this could be a really great option for you. I've actually gone in with Mary Lou by The Balm, which I haven't picked up in forever, to add a little bit more glow because I feel like glazed donut would be too intense for this look. Of course, if you want to shine outer space, totally do that. All we have to do is wrap up the lower lash line and this look is coming together. So for the lower lash line, I'm taking a little bit of a smaller brush. This is a Morphe E36 and I'm just going to run this under my lower lash line. I'm really going to hug right where my lashes are. So that's where the shadow is going to be the darkest and then we can blend it out from there. And how much you want to smoke this out is up to you. I do like a pretty grungy, smoked out lower lash line myself. You could totally put the nude sticks on your lower lash line. I'm just gonna blend with whatever's left on this brush. Um, however, I found when I did it, it just went into my creases by the end of the day. So if you're gonna be wearing this makeup a long time, I wouldn't recommend that. It does give a really cool effect, but like I said, throughout the day, it did kind of just like sink into the creases of my under eye and accentuate them. So for me, I'm not doing that today. Normally I would go over my lash line with just a really quick, thin liquid liner, but I'm all out, so I have to skip that step. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna add mascara, 
and my brows and we'll be back to finish up this look. So for a lip liner, I just kind of do the under part of the lip and then the top part of my lip, I kind of leave my corners alone. And then for a grungy look, of course you could go with a darker nude. I like to keep my lips more of a pinky nude. So I'm going in with a nude stick in the shade Whisper. This is such a good nude if you're on the really fair side like my self. Just like that, it's pretty basic, pretty simple. But like I said, for a bar crawl or something like that, you're gonna be drinking anyways. Last thing you wanna worry about is messing up your lips. I do think that like um, maybe like a dark brown or like a black lipstick could look totally awesome with this too. I hope you guys really enjoyed this grunge tutorial. Last final step, I almost forgot, setting spray gonna help melt the powders and everything together to give you more of a skin like finish than have your face look a little bit cakey or powdery looking so let me know your thoughts what is your favorite type of makeup look do you want to see grunge make a comeback I love grunge I'm like so into it right now I'm always going through my different phases let me know what you guys are into in the comments down below also let me know what videos you would like to see from me next if you are not subscribed, be sure to do so before heading out today. Give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the bell button for notifications, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.